Hello traders, uh, welcome to this training session. Sorry for me looking at the screens and looking up here at the camera. The purpose of today's session is to show you exactly how to day trade and how to scalp the markets. I'm going to walk you through looking at the right hand side of the screen on how I choose uh, which trades to actually take and really I suppose there's no better way of really doing that and showing you really what we're looking for and I'll explain the process step by step right now we're experiencing some extreme volatility in the markets and so I'm going to quickly just cover some other alternative markets besides trading say any equities based market or futures contract because there are some other markets that are doing really well so this is going to be raw real unedited and the whole purpose is, is to really show you that you can do this I've been doing this now for over 26 years you don't have to go and do this traders I have a massive library I produced over 500 videos now uh, most of you have seen a lot of my training sessions I have over 200 members in my weekly coaching sessions and once you get used to this it ain't rocket science okay this isn't about intellect it's about discipline so I'm going to turn the camera off we'll go through the slides a few slides I've got here for you then we're going to go directly to the charts now we're going to focus today's session on looking at Renko charts but the same principle applies whether you trade time-based charts uh, tick charts volume it really doesn't matter but I have a real preference for Renko because I believe if you're not consistently profitable right now or if you're a brand new trader Renko can be a really good place to start but let me say this also as you gain experience and as you get multiple screens as I have what you want to do is have a tick chart screen where you've got tick chart set up as well as your Renko and the and I'll perhaps we may not have time to cover it in today's session but they work really well together so let me now why turn this camera off and let's get to the slideshow so stay with me traders because just that one idea and I promise you I'm going to give you multiple ideas in this session now who is this training session for anyone that would love to work from home uh, this is a part-time or full-time career you work from home you work your own hours most markets now are, are open uh, 24 hours so most of the good futures markets are of course Forex stock markets are, are a little different of course uh, and by the way the same principles that I'm going to show you here applies to any market whether you trade stocks Forex or futures the markets are what we call fractal in nature so let me switch this off let's get to the charts uh, let's actually go through a couple of slides first of all I just want to lay some foundation very quickly well first of all I do need to put up the uh, dis disclaimer otherwise the uh, CFTC and NFA will have my head on a platter <laughs> and what you'll also notice traders here is I'm out of um, uh, off the slides a little because I want to get to the charts and we're going to be looking at the far right hand side and I wanted to make sure that I captured that so you could actually see price action exactly what we're looking for so uh, sorry about that little glitch there so if there is a risk in trading don't trade with the rent money because you're watching the recording I'm not going to read this out word for word please feel free to pause the recording there is a risk in trading okay it's about getting the right education and the great thing about trading today is that virtually every trading platform has a simulator on it so you can practice in sim until you're ready to go live now if you haven't already subscribed to uh, my YouTube channel please do uh, also click on the link below and go to my website and you can request a free copy of or you can actually download rather than request a download a copy of my ebook the truth about tra day trading I've also got a really detailed training manual there that you can also download for free and even better still in a very quick advertisement and we've got this finished is traders as you'll go through this and when you go and visit my website uh, for $197 you get all of my indicators uh, all of my manuals there's actually now as I mentioned I think in the members area there's now over 300 training videos and I've got over 200 members now that are in my monthly coaching classes we do two live two hours sorry yeah two live two hour sessions a week uh, um, good half of them are professional traders but anyway go and visit my website to find out more that's the end of the ad let's now get into the content 
first of all I just want to tell you this um, Gan famously said um, many years ago there's nothing new under the Sun and I've been researching and studying this business for now and trading for over 26 years and I can tell you that this is so true traders whoops just jumped ahead too far is that when you go and, and I've got a massive library and I've employed employed full-time CTAs and programmers and and uh, I used to own a traders library where I used to uh, uh, you could buy my data and you could then borrow books from my traders library etc so I've been in it a long long time and what I've discovered is that many of the setups I'm about to show you are universal they've been around for years and years uh, be, beware of the man that tells you that uh, he's manufacturing antiques meaning most setups there's nothing new in them okay but but the setups themselves is only part of it but in these two books this is by Mike Bellafore who uh, runs SMB capital a prop trading firm out of uh, New York and in the playbook X both are excellent books and I highly recommend you uh, purchase them and in the playbook they talk about scalping at SMB capital and a few on their desks are consistently above 95% winning days so the bottom line is how can professional traders have such a high win rate well there are three reasons for this they develop the skill set over time and that is you need to give yourself 90 to 180 days uh, to really get this down pat they develop pattern recognition skills and they're in the right stocks in their case they're mainly a stock firm well in our case you want to be in the right market and of course we talk a lot about that which are the right markets now if you're already an experienced trader you already know this but when you look at um, uh, in the book he talks about um, G man one of his top traders a multi-million dollar earner this is his favorite setup does this look familiar traders a pullback or a retracement usually we'll use for an example an EMA here uh, which just makes it easier you've got your stop up here and away you go here is our first target we want to take out the first swing low and you'll trail the rest if you'll say trading futures or maybe Forex and you're starting at one with one contract I recommend a fixed target when you're first when you're a brand new uh, trader and he trails the rest and likewise going long now many breakout traders and or if you're a fractal trader you will trade the breakout here and you trade the breakout here but you give all of this away so we want to have really good high probability entries now what if that's a loss and in our case we have a secondary major EMA so if you, you have a stop out here which happens of course that's trading is we then usually get what we call an 89 bounce back here and G man this is actually his favorite setup because it pulls back deeper and he's got a greater distance uh, a greater potential return to take out that first swing low or the first swing high and to trail the rest but the reason in showing you this this is not new it's been around for years it's just and, and that's why I say to traders traders you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on this stuff okay it's straightforward okay now this is uh, one of our actually, actually I shouldn't have perhaps put his surname up but this is February the 20th 21st here I uh, recently I achieved a five six week a six seven yesterday I had four grand uh, in a single day that's 800 a contract trading um, uh, five years contracts and in our business uh, in my business uh, we've got five by five yes I can or three by eight yes I can and we have another favorite saying thank you thank you thank you we thank the market for that now on this now by the way if you're already getting itchy feet if you're a trader that's not making money I want you to take notice to what you're thinking that unfortunately traders so many traders are impatient okay they're not willing to spend the time to research the right material to practice etc this is an incredible income opportunity but unfortunately trade is not willing to do the homework and there's only one place in the world where success comes before work and it's in the dictionary so let me talk uh, to you for a moment assuming you wanted to be a scalper now a scalper is we're in and out of the market fairly quickly okay so you've got scalping 
day trading and scalping and day trading can be very very similar with with scalping we might have up to 20 trades a day what you could actually do is spread that over two markets and I'll show you a couple of setups we are very very and they exceed 75% but let's and the returns uh, and I'll show you that in a moment but here if you well and let's just consider here sorry jumping all over the place here that uh, that you trade the ES now the ES is $12.50 a tick CL is $10 a tick I've assumed the same tick value okay so I'm being very conservative 75% win rate and you only scalp five ticks that's 750 25% loss and your loss is seven ticks on average let's assume your commissions round out at five dollars each you should be doing better than that so you're netting over 300 a day now many of you have seen the compound table if you net just 200 a day and every time you uh, increase your uh, account by six thousand you then buy another contract in 16 weeks you're earning ten thousand dollars a week that is the possibility here and you can trial and you can do all sorts of other things now and I'll show you this on the chart so stay with me now very quickly in these incredible fast moving markets we have right now now at the moment we're going through the coronavirus um, uh, volatility I mean it's extreme now this will pass once we get through it this will pass and the markets will then rebound and it'll be in and either way there's some great opportunities as you're about to see but the ES the YM the NQ there are a lot of markets that are really just not tradable right now but there are also are a lot of markets that are such as the black gold the Texas T oil is um, a great market which we'll look at in a moment the 10-year note the uh, currency markets the, uh, the 6e or the EC on trade station is the ticker which is the euro currency market and also the Forex market there are still some great markets that are very very tradable right now you see when we've got a lot of volatility we need to consider um, uh, broker margins they go up etc etc so I won't go into all of these things right now but this is probably the most important thing that is when we go to the charts I'm probably going to talk about a couple of different setups however this is where most traders go wrong when you first join me or if you don't join me but you go out there and start to learn how to trade it's so important that you but really you focus on that one thing what is that one setup number one that one thing and what I've discovered is really and this is curly out of the movie city slickers and uh, when he was asked in the movie what is that one thing he said that's something you've got to find out <laughs> I'm going to tell you what it is and there's one thing in many different areas of trading the first thing is when you first start out is trading with the trend okay now there is a great uh, gentleman he's passed away just a couple of years ago probably the greatest trading psychology there is Mark Douglas and if you haven't already read it you must read the discipline trader and in that book he says choose one simple trading system to become an expert choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern preferably one that is mechanical instead of mathematical so you'll be working with the visual representation in the meantime it's important to avoid all other possibilities and information because we suffer from what we now know it's called decision fatigue the more decisions we've got to make the, the greater the chance of making a mistake and this is one of the most frustrating challenges that I have with traders uh, all around the world that are members is that when they want to get in like a bull at a gate and I want to charge into it we focus on one setup because I teach my members for example over 14 different setups we have a different setup for different market conditions you start with one and you build from there so let's go and have a look at the charts now as I first mentioned let me just bring this up I am going to focus on uh, the Renko but here I've got CL and you can't just see it over there but I wanted to make sure we're here but this is a tick chart okay this is a 233 tick chart now generally speaking when you trade there are three market sessions we've got New York 
which then rolls over into the Asian session then that rolls into the London session during the New York session which really speeds up in normal market conditions around 5 6 a.m. Eastern uh, we would jump up to a 233 tick chart and that's what this is here traders this is a 233 tick however the same uh, the same rules apply to um, what I'm about to show you whether you trade no matter what really type of chart that you're trading but let's start here with Renko now what I'm going to do here traders is just read out here what I'm looking for because this is really where the rubber meets the road now I will tell you this that is I trade with three different charts okay so I've got three different time frames that I trade with I've got my entry my anchor one and my anchor two when you first start because three charts can perhaps be a little confusing you then will increase there and have my or you will to start off perhaps with two and remember you're only after one setup so what I'm going to do is explain a number of setups as we go through because even though you may not trade certain setups you must understand them because they'll keep you out of uh, out of losing trades for an example over here I've got a little double top and it's what we call a 2d this is a very very high probability setup okay a 2d now what you don't want to take is a is a with with trend continuation trade straight after a 2d because any trade after that immediately after that is very low probability now a 2d is a divergence trade and you'll see a couple more in a moment but it's important that oh, naturally we've got one right down here now see this just here this is one of my and we say follow the goal one of my EMAs and just there traders um, you can see there this is profit taking see that red candle this is where a lot of traders will wait and they want to continue with the trend but they'll jump in this trade after a 2d but they're very very low probability so this is let's go over here and let's just spend 10 minutes on this okay just going through um, brick by brick I call them candles but the Renko's are really bricks and remember normally I'd have the three time frames up but I don't want to do that because what actually will happen um, it allow me to see on the high time frames where price action is going and I just want to um, uh, just really read it from the right hand side now within 30 days you can pick this up and if you're not prepared to spend 30 days in learning this or mastering what I'm looking at you're never gonna I'm sorry but you won't make it you've got to be willing to put the time in but it ain't rocket science this is about pattern recognition so let's start now the X open is the globe X open the market closes for around an hour and then it reopens at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard okay so it reopens and so that's what we call the globe X session now normally speaking we would really lower our time frame but I'm going to use a the, the time frame that I use during New York because we've seen a lot of extra volatility and volume so see that little dot up there and see this one here these are what we call floor pivots as we head to a floor pivot floor pivots are what we call magnets traders okay and we've actually got a setup we call the um, uh, the um, pivot magnet trade and the reason we call it pivot magnet trade is it's almost like and here's one right here you get sucked in and the pivots you go straight to the pivot and you could do it up here straight into the pivot very very accurate trade and pivots work on every market by the way it doesn't matter what you're trading so we're about to hit the pivot and you can see it just there actually see that little black dot there normally I wouldn't have those on but that's just it's just as I just do that visually in my coaching room just for my members just uh, in training okay so what we've got there is what I call a rule of one so we would be going long here provided the market was slow because we usually get a pivot bounce now each one of these and let me just go over here 
this so why have why isn't that how oh, here we go okay so each one of these little step ups by the way so these are four tick Renko so it means that each one of these bricks is $40 and each one of these little steps is worth $20 so over here we've got our first uh, uh, what I call ruler one and let's assume here we get in on the second on the close by the close of a second so two four six eight ten now we're up now $100 now 10 uh, 120 140 now now I get a reversal okay now I've got I've tagged it up here anyway now normally speaking uh, you could, you'll actually see a white candle here see that little white candle that white candle the white paint bar you can see those they do not appear until the third candle so it doesn't pick the exact turning point however because that would be a counter trend trade I must have three lower closes there is my entry not on the second but on the close of the third candle now I've marked that up as a 2d pivot bounce you can see we've just gone through the pivot when I have a pivot bounce that's uh, out sorry a 2d I should say uh, we target the 89 that is our target but remember traders we stair step sometimes sometimes we go straight down or we may not make it of course but it's a pretty accurate setup so I enter on the close of a third and my stop goes one tick above or if you're trading Forex one pip above all right so we come down whoops that's not good all right now now what have we formed we've now formed a little double top and once you understand these if you're under your 2% management money management rule and look at my divergence okay this is what we call divergence now is a good time to add now remember my target would be down here so I marked these up in class this morning so that was uh, over eight hours ago so I've got no idea what what happens right now but okay so we're coming down now you would have actually well I would have taken profits out at that point I now have another rule of one and I will take that for a scalp down to this round number and this is the 50 cent area different markets have different personality different personalities sorry see these black lines traders these are very distinctive turning points on for black gold on oil and bounce points okay very important so my my point or my target my first target will be the 89 now how can I talk about that with such um, surety that it's going to turn or I'm going to get hit, a hit because it happens 85% of the time we get a bounce it may not be a full follow-through but we do get a bounce coming down now I want you to remember the concept of get ready get set go now get ready if my white candles and, and you can still got a white candle there what you would actually see normally is a green candle when you come down to our major turning points which you learn okay and they're not rocket science when you get your first reversal candle you get ready because the setup now it may roll over and turn but what I'm looking for is three higher closes and bang there it is now this is what we call a 2b 2b's are a good 80% plus trade and the great thing about 2b's they're very very mechanical and I'll quickly whiz through the chart in a moment I'll show you every single 2b well I won't go through the whole day we'll be here for a there were so many today and uh, okay I'll show you the 2b's now what about targets remember G man uh, the diagrams I showed you that's our previous swing high now what we do know traders is that we've got to be realistic we could get a bounce and it could turn into an ABC pattern or we could bounce off the pivot or we could go straight through and take out this high so let me just go ahead pretty quickly that's two four six eight ten 120 140 160 180 200 220 uh, there we go so there you could have gone out with 160 easily out of that that move uh, and by the way your risk let's just talk about the risk I think it's really important 
now there using the if you were to place your stop loss one tick under there you're risking $130 on average okay that is your risk now if you want to lower that risk what can we do see my blue dots there okay so there we've got a stop you could place your stop there which will save you another $50 per contract uh, or you lower the time frame now normally during the after hours market you can trade in normal conditions a one tick Renko okay maybe a two tick we've got of course with oil prices dropping right now a lot of volatility you're probably going to trade a two or three normally okay so there are ways and things we do to lower the risk okay so we, we now what have I now got I've now got another rule of one now what also tells me here is look at my long-term stochastic look at the overall trend now what we would be looking at here traders is for a higher time frame we're going to trade in the direction of the higher time frame right there now I've got another rule of one and I'm after with my rule of one so I'm really after a good eight to ten ticks which is 80 to 100 dollars I've got typically a seven to eight tick stop loss that is 70 to 80 dollars and I'm after a good 70 now can you get more than that of course you can right you can trail using here my blue dots okay so you can use the ATR there to trail so uh, it's not good okay now we're in it okay so we're 20 40 60 80 1 120 now we're at a very important level we're at 48 a barrel now usually you'll get a bit of a bounce at the 48 point any round number on oil okay 48 49 50 51 okay so we've sailed straight through so I don't know what we're up 140 160 and here we've got now there we go so now I've got a nice high and I've also got divergence now your very best divergence trades and let me cover this when you first learn how to trade you must only trade with the trend until you get that down right you trade say only the two B's and maybe a third what we call and just write these down the 2b and 34b and maybe your next strategy is the rule of one which is what these black dots are okay and there's certain conditions we've got to trade these under so just jot this down if you're not a member okay so the two B's the third and if you are a member jot this down too so if you're a new member so your 34 B's but the very best is your 2B followed closely by a 34B now you want to understand divergence trading because there are certain setups like here got a nice little divergence trade but when you take these you want to target down here the goal you that is generally going to be our bounce point so a t19 which is what that is we target the gold and with a 2d we target the cyan okay so there, there we go so we've hit the gold we'd be out of that trade and now we've got another one but what I want to do because I'm running out of time okay so we want to be following the trend and as you can see we're kicking and this is just typical of what you'll see on oil by the way the only difference is that today I'm using a four tick normally you'd use a two tick or maybe a, a one tick now I've got another 2d at this stage now a 2d where is my target traders okay now remember what I said we're going to target the cyan okay so we're going to be targeting down here this is what we call a 2d very very mechanical trade you're in on the close of your third into in on the fourth candle uh, and this is why just here you don't take a trend trade straight after a 2d most of them fail okay so that's why you want to learn that so now we're coming down so easily we've easily picked up our uh, 10 14 ticks and now we've got a bit of a bounce now here I was about to say I'm not really interested in that because what I really want to trade is the two B's so that's actually formed a little ABC but let's just go back down here here we actually had a 2b set up and it was a loss okay we had a loss just there that was a loss 
now we come down and now we've got a 2b just there okay I'm just showing you every single 2b now what about these here yep you got 30 falls on the way down but if you wanted to be and the 30 falls are very very mechanical but if you're a brand new trader I want you to focus on the 2b's doesn't matter which market you're trading you get the 2b's now a 2b you are using at least one higher time frame okay you are using at least one now that is a legitimate entry you had another one there you had one there you had one there you had one there these white pant you get used to the pattern and even and I've got by the way I've got that um, the uh, super scalper I've got a version of it for mt4 think or swim I've got uh, custom coded for nt7 nt8 and of course for trade station okay so you can get that if you've got a trading platform I don't have it you see um, in training you learn exactly why it plots it's very simple and straightforward why that plots and the conditions uh, so you can replicate it we come down you now get another 2d and here is another entry you want to avoid 2d's are very mechanical right that's what we call a t19 that is the weakest of your divergence trade this is your strongest now that there is a 2b again right we come back up that is a 2b now with that one uh, two four six eight now that did hit touch nine ticks so you would have got out okay out of that one uh, and what we actually do once we hit plus eight we want to go to break even plus one so once we hit plus eight ticks we then go to break even plus one now continuing uh, now we're becoming counter trend look at our EMAs now I want you to remember uh, a golden rule do we have a fanning of the EMAs here yes 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 here are some of the danger areas traders once you start to see your EMAs coming together it becomes a danger zone now you had a 2d just there and there we had a very and oh and actually just there we had a, a 200b on the anchor chart now these this is another setup we've got um, very easy to learn once you get the other setups down and what you actually do traders is once you master one setup you add another and you add another because the the 200 B's and the 89 B's on the anchor charts kick butt right um, uh, and you'll probably see a few of them as I quickly scroll I'll just make this video another five minutes all right we had a loss there you fall off a horse you get back on and you had another trying to be there on the anchor chart we come up we'll just quickly let's ignore the divergence for my for a moment there is a 2b uh, now with this one here that <laughs> I do have to show you that one there's another 2 3d it was a bit marginal on the on one of the charts then it comes down and we had you ignore any initial bounces but down here we had another 2b okay we come on here is another 2b now that was a 2b and the reason why is just training members today how to recognize them or why that was 2b now we had a 2b loss just there okay that was a loss but then we had a winner then we had a winner now traders if you, once you understand the the logic behind these it's really straightforward it ain't rocket science it's really not okay there's a another one nice look now you look at that and say fruitcakes uh, samurai that's not a big move but if that, that actually oops when that finishes is uh, moving that's actually let's just say you got in on the fourth candle that's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen that there is a $180 move traders that is a 180 move in that move there okay then we get uh, and there's a ton of trades on the way down as you can see rule of ones everywhere but let's just focus on the trade that I want you to learn and master initially the mechanical trade that you can look at and say yep now I understand you had one there you had one here now this one I marked up as a loss question mark because you still two four six you may have um, still been in that one but you may have got it if you had of because it did go down and touch 10 ticks so if you got out of that one you had a loss there but then you had a little scalp uh, two foot look you break even break it oh well, there you were still in that one 
down here and there was another one now this is a fairly typical day now I will say typical today we had 900,000 contracts trade on this market normally it's 600,000 okay so our volume was up however the patterns are pretty much the same okay now at 10 o'clock this is we have uh, on oil each day at 10 a.m. we've got what we call the 10 o'clock shock and usually it's just not tradable there for a couple of seconds look at this here 10 a.m. what it's one minute of trading very difficult to trade now we've got a 2d and we've actually had a loss there it was taken out by one tick but then it formed a nice little double top and thank you very much now there it didn't actually hit the sign as you can see but it was still a $200 move just remember as soon as we see a reversal do we stay in it because we believe it's going to hit well the canvas of course that was just for my members this morning once again making sure they were very clear on when we roll over and form a new direction um, uh, why it was an entry very mechanical okay it's, and once you want it's very black and white now here it then took off like a rocket we then had another 2b there etc so traders what I'm showing you here is that there's so many options now what if then that's not your cup of tea what if you wanted to trade uh, say the current the currency futures now this is the 6e as we know the 6e on the currency futures or uh, the um, EC on trade station okay so that's what this is here and that's six dollars 25 a tick okay that's six twenty five a tick now it took off right here at nine o'clock that's that's not even tradable and this is where you've got to train yourself um, uh, and traders have got to understand a concept called FOMO FOMO stands for fear of missing out unfortunately traders want to you know they want to jump on every trade traders you only need to be netting 200 a day per contract to become very 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 wealthy in this business now that's only uh, 225 is um, uh, on the ES that's five four tick trades a day um, you can go for your runners and that's one thing I should have said actually just going back to this is that uh, remember before I said uh, three by eight yes I can your two B's romp eight six plus in all the time my rule of ones my 34s uh, my t2s my slingshots even though I may get a lot more than that five but I classify them as five ticks trades uh, because I'll scalp I'll get out a lot quicker but your two B's will give you a much higher rate of return okay you'll do really well on those now what if you wanted a market that's a lot slower in these market conditions you can look at the 10-year note so if we look at the 10-year note here uh, which is uh, 1562 a tick $15.62 uh, now that's the globe accession this is uh, during New York and that from there that's 1150 it's 12 o'clock and that's three hours of price action traders and the same patterns apply you just don't get as many okay for an example we look at here that's a 2b that's a 2b that's a 2b stop out may or you might get out of break even because that actually there and without digressing too much I want to finish this video up that's what we call an ABC okay we come up there is your exit signal there but that's a 2b just there there is another 2b and it reverses and stops you and turns into what we call a t4 so the the different types of setups that I'm telling you about you soon over over a month or so you pick them up but what you do and what you say to yourself is very very important is this so many traders will say I'll never learn this what's the presupposition there you'll never learn it what about what can I learn from this how can I use this what's great about this when you have a losing trade what will I do differently next time what's the presupposition of these questions that you can do better and this is one of the critical mistakes that traders make today is the language that they use particularly new traders and this is why you need me to help you along the way so as I said traders 
I've been doing this a long long time over 26 years um, uh, does every one of my traders make it of course not because a lot of traders not willing to put the work in but you can master this in time right you've got to gain uh, screen time uh, and oh, one thing I was going to say too which is really important to get started today as a day trader you can start by trading the micros uh, and you only need eight hundred dollars to do that you can open up a micro futures account now and you can start trading the micros only 800 I will say however right now the micros I wouldn't be trading in the next two weeks just with this volatility um, but in the mean oh but you can of course trade the uh, but John you need a bit more than that you to trade the the euro currencies you do need even though it's only 625 a tick the micros are sort of 50 cents a tick up to a dollar 25 so we're only 10 percent of the current contracts but the market will slow down even if you don't have a lot of money right now to start trading with um, lay the foundation for your future that's what this is really about you can do this it's just about really understanding these patterns so if you haven't subscribed let's finish uh, on this one this is a uh, session 13 of a range of videos I'm recording at the moment visit my website um, become a member um, the only upsell by the way a member say look is that everything what, what am I going to get upsold on well the only other thing is coaching if you choose to do my coaching however everything is in day traders fast track program but look the first step really is is to go and watch some of my videos download my uh, ebooks and really take it from there or right, traders and by the way if you choose to do the coach we don't have tally I don't I don't I work from from my home here I don't have a team of tally marketers okay you're not going to be hassled about joining anything um, so I just wanted to mention that because as I mentioned I've got over 200 members and by the way my members once they join the average member now just pays um, $97 a month to be in my coaching so once they've initially signed up it's 97 a month to be in the coaching but anyway that's enough I've said enough traders I hope you pick up a few ideas if you didn't go back and replay it it means you're asking the wrong questions so thank you traders uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon